Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed UE Augusta. And here you can see GPU crash dump triggered. So if you're receiving this error when you're playing the game on Xbox app, or even if you're playing the game on uh, Steam, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, first of all, before trying any troubleshooting steps, uh, the first step um, is to Try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. This is for Steam users. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option under general tab, just type in dash DX11. And then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12, launch the game. Now you launch the game and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can remove this, follow the next step. Rename or delete Augusta folder. Now for this, you can open File Explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open App Data folder. If you don't see App Data at the top, click on View Select Show. Put a check on Hidden Items and then open App Data folder. Open the local folder. Over here, find Augusta folder. Create a backup first. So copy this. You can just uh, once you have a backup, now you can make changes. All the saved settings will be lost when you do so. Make a right click on this Augusta folder and then you can rename it or you can even delete this folder. So I will just rename it. Now once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to disable crossplay. To disable crossplay, uh, you can open File Explorer and again uh, go to the location, this location and open Augusta folder. And in my case, I have renamed it. Uh, so when you rename it, when you launch the game, it will create another Augusta folder. So you have to open that Augusta folder. And then once you open it, go to saved, open, saved folder, config folder. If you have the game on Game Pass, then you have to open this Win GDK folder. If you have the game on Steam, then open Win GRTS folder. And you will see game user settings. So open game user settings and find crossplay over here. Now, once you find crossplay, now if in your case, it would be like true if the crossplay is enabled. So you have to change this value to false. And then you can go to file and then click on save. Once it is saved, now you can make a right click on game user settings, go to properties, put a check on read only and then apply, click on OK. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So whichever brand you have, go to their website. And then over here, you can select your model number or enter your service tag, serial number, whatever. Just make sure that you select your computer. You have to select your model number only. Once you select your model number, now you can go to drivers and download and find the BIOS. This is just an example. Select your operating system. So I have Windows 11. So select your operating system and then find the BIOS only. So here you can see BIOS. Uh, so you have to download the BIOS file and then you have to run this file and you can install it on your computer. Now in case of laptop, Make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% 10, 10 before you update the system BIOS and make sure battery and the charger, the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, still not working. The next step is to launch the game as an administrator. Now for this, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. And then you, you can see this exe file, make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. And the main exe file is Augusta, open this Augusta binaries, win64, uh, win grts, and then you will see this exe file, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here and then check. If you have the game on Xbox app, in that case, uh, Click on the game over here and then click on these three dots and then go to manage and then click on create desktop shortcut. Click on it and once you create desktop shortcut, go to desktop, you will see the Augusta 
short, shortcut. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. Uh, for Game Pass user, you can even uh, click on these three dots and then go to manage and then click on files and then click on browse over here and then open the OE Augusta and then content Augusta and then by uh, no uh, go back open the content folder once you open the content folder you will see game launcher make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes and this should launch the game now still not working the next step is to if able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game lower down graphics settings turn off or turn on vsync lock the fps and then check so once you launch the game go to options and then go to display op option over here now if this is set to like full screen you can try window full screen you can even switch to window mode and if this is set to like 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then check also here you can see uh, if the quality is set to epic you can set it to high you can even go for medium and frame rate limit if this is set to unlimited you can maybe set it to 120 and maybe 60 so I will just keep at 60 and if lower down graphic settings now if the vsync is on and you're facing the problem then you can turn off vsync and then you can check if that if the vsync is already off and you're facing the problem you can turn it on and then check check which one is working fine for you and then now you can check the performance now still not working the next step is to run gaming services repair tool now for this type in gaming services repair tool in uh, Google search and then go to the official Xbox support website which says gaming services repair tool for PC and then click on downloadable version over here scroll down you will see download the gaming services repair tool for PC and then run the CXE part if you see uh, yes option click on yes to allow and let the process complete this process will take some time and once you see completed successfully now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here Select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system and then click on find. And on this page, uh, you will see the latest graphic card driver at the top GeForce Game Ready driver. This is the latest 577. This time, whichever is the latest, you have to click on view on that and then you will see the download option. So hit download and once the download is complete, you run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will click on yes to allow and then click on OK and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here, click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next. Once the graphic card is installed, the latest one, now restart your computer. After the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Now, AMD card users, first of all, uninstall the current graphic card driver, restart your computer, go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install the latest graphic card driver, restart your computer, and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now, for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box, go to graphic settings. If you have the game on Steam, then click on add, ah. stop app over here, and then go to the game installation folder, and then open the game folder. This is the location and then select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game over here and then over here select high performance you will see your graphic card again click on add desktop app this is the main exe file augusta binaries win grts and then select this exe file and then scroll down and find the game in the list this is the main exe file and then over here gp preference set it to high performance you will see your graphic card if you have the game on Xbox app, click on add Microsoft Store app and then you will see the game over here. Select the game and then again over here, you have to select high performance and you will see your graphic card and then check. Desktop users, make sure that you connect the DP cable or the HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card slot. So if, if your computer has a dual graphic card, so in my case, I have a dual graphic card and desktop users, 
uh, if the dual graphic card, like you have Intel or AMD integrated graphic card, make sure that you don't connect the graphic card to the motherboard slot. Connect it to the dedicated graphic card slot and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. Now for this type in view advanced system settings over here in window search and then click on view advanced system settings and then advanced tab click on the first settings go to advanced tab over here click on change and then over here uncheck this box select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom option and over here uh, the initial size is 1 1.5 multiplied total RAM so you can check what uh, what is the total RAM on your computer go to sy settings system and then you can go to about section over here and in my case uh, the total RAM is 16 gigabyte we have to convert this to megabyte now for megabyte like for me it's you have to calculate as per your RAM so for me it's 16 multiplied 1024 that is 16384 gigabyte uh, megabyte multiplied 1.5 this is this is my initial size so it's uh, how much uh, sorry 24576 24 24576 and the maximum size is 3 into 3 multiplied total ram so total ram is 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 this is the megabyte in total ram like total ram is 6 in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 49152 49152 as per my ram 49152 and then click on set over here click on set and then click on ok and then you have to restart your computer restart your computer and then you have to check if that does not work uh, you can type in view advanced system settings once again and then click on first settings advanced change and then this time select system manage site and then you have to click on set sorry system manage site and then you have to click on set set is important and then click on ok and then you have to restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can uh, launch the game and then check now still not working in that case you can set it default the default is like settings advanced change you can put a check over here and then set it default if it's not working and then again restart your computer next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in window search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on power options over here and over here in my case i have only balanced in your case you might see this uh, power saver you can select power saver relaunch the game you can even go for balance or you can even go for high performance check which one is working fine for you now still not working uh, the next step is to perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure this is checked and then click on disable all in my case i already did it that's why it's grayed out so in your case this will be highlighted click on disable all click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using so if you have any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect extra controller the dongle disconnect it. disconnect multiple monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it close all the overlay application like first of all disable the steam overlay make a right click on the game select properties and turn off the enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on turn it off uh, if you have like any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay overlay in discord setting if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app and then you will see the settings tab over here left on the left hand side click on settings and then you have to turn off nvidia overlay i don't know why it's not opening now so close all the overlay application and then check also set overclocking to default if you have overclocked your computer do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner if you have any kind of online storage uh, uh, apps running like OneDrive and Google Drive, close it. If you are using OneDrive, make sure that you are logged in. If you have undervoted your computer, remove the undervote and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. 
So if nothing is working, uh, you can just um, uninstall the game. Now after the, you uninstall the game, uh, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. Xbox Game Pass user can go to like uh, settings and then go to support uh, settings with it and then go to install option and you can select different drive. If it is already installed to different drive, you can try C drive and then try to install the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this uh, GPU crash dump triggered and Unreal process has crashed error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.